Attending your first open house is an important milestone in your home buying journey, one that brings the dream closer to reality. Open houses can be fun and exciting, but they can also feel overwhelming. As a prospective buyer, you might be wondering, what's the best way to make the most of a limited time in what could be your future home? We'll answer that question and others in our effort to help you become a savvy Sunday shopper. I'm Carla Romero, and welcome back to Street Easy Homeschool. Open houses are a great opportunity not only to tour a specific property, but also to learn more about your own preferences and priorities when it comes to your search. In order to make the most of an open house, you'll wanna come prepared. Don't worry, we've got your back. Here's what we'll cover today. Working with a buyer's agent, preparing for an open house, keeping a record, trusting your intuition, assessing the competition, and exploring the surroundings. First, we recommend working with a buyer's agent from the beginning of your home shopping journey. A buyer's agent can help you with each step of the process, from finding the right home, to securing a home at the right price, to closing on a home in good condition. When choosing a buyer's agent, consider working with a StreetEasy expert. These agents have specific, local experience representing buyers in the buildings and neighborhoods you are considering. Reach out to StreetEasy Concierge at the link below to get matched with an expert. Buyer's agents can help you notice details about a property you might have otherwise overlooked and can help ask difficult questions and manage important conversations with the seller's agent who has a fiduciary responsibility to the seller. In addition to working with a buyer's agent, there are some other ways you can prepare for an open house. Make sure to check out the listing on StreetEasy so you have a sense of the property you'll be visiting. Look closely at the floor plan, monthly payments, and amenities. You'll be able to verify these details and get additional information at the open house. In New York, it's also important to pay attention to the type of property you'll be visiting. For example, condos and co-ops have different approval processes, rules, and associated costs. It's always a smart move to come prepared with a handy checklist of questions and reminders when attending an open house. Some common questions include, are there any upcoming assessments or planned renovations in the building? Are there any pet restrictions or rules? And what are the building's policies regarding subletting or short-term rentals? In addition, consider asking about things like amenities, utilities, garbage disposal, package storage, and noise levels at different times of day. You could also ask about the property's finances and how common charges or maintenance fees may change over time. All right, you have your questions ready to go and are all set to head to the open house. Next up, we have some tips to keep in mind while you're there. If you're in the midst of shopping for a new home, you may be attending a number of showings in open houses, or at least looking at many online listings. These homes can start to blend together in your mind, so it's important to keep a record of each place you visit and your impressions. We recommend taking notes on your smartphone or you can bring a notepad if you prefer. You'll wanna jot down likes and dislikes, important details, and answers to your prepared questions. You can also use your phone to capture photos or videos of the home. Just check with the seller's agent first to make sure it's okay. It can also be a good idea to bring a tape measure to an open house. If you're not sure if your existing furniture will fit, Measure and write down the dimensions of the space so you can refer back to them later. Perhaps the most important thing to note when attending an open house is your own intuition. Buying a home is a personal and emotional decision. As you move throughout the space, pay attention to how you feel. Could you envision yourself living there? Consider factors you can't change, like floor plan, views, ceiling height, noise levels, and natural light, and whether they align with your priorities. Try not to focus too much on the staging and interior design. If you purchase the home, you could change those aspects. Instead, picture your own furniture and belongings in the space. In addition to assessing the home itself, you'll also want to assess your competition while being respectful of other open house attendees. The New York real estate market can be very competitive and seeing how much interest a property is garnering can give you a better understanding of what to expect if you decide to make an offer. An experienced buyer's agent can help you determine the level of interest in a property and come up with a winning strategy if you're interested in moving forward. Finally, you'll want to explore the home's surroundings. Start by taking a look around the building, checking out any amenities, common areas, and storage spaces, and even speaking with the building staff if you'd like. Keep in mind, however, that anything you say could be communicated back to the seller. Next, walk around the neighborhood. 
It can be helpful to explore the neighborhood at different times of day and on both weekdays and weekends to get a feel for what it's like to live there. You can also check out nearby restaurants, grocery stores, parks, transit options, and anything else that's important to your lifestyle. One last note on open houses. Make an effort to show up on time and to be as polite and respectful as possible. You wouldn't want to offend anyone and end up losing out in a bidding war because of it. The seller's agent may be looking for a buyer who they think could be approved by a co-op board, so being professional and keeping critiques in your head or notepad is key. We hope these tips will make you feel more confident and prepared when you're ready to start attending open houses. This is just one step in the buyer's journey, but it's an important one and we want you to feel set up for success. If you have any questions about the home buying process in New York or want to get matched with an expert buyer's agent, contact Street Easy Concierge at the link below. We look forward to helping you unlock life's next chapter. Thanks for watching.